I like that action. <laughs> Hi, Ools. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, my beauties, my fashionistas, my friends, my supporters. How are you? Have you missed me as much as I've missed you? Today's episode is going to be the season's favorites. First up. I wish I could sing. I can't. <laughs> Love these boots. I got these boots by Windsor. They are very price budget friendly. They were only about $35. I bought them. My sister sent them to me here in London because I don't think they ship internationally. I just love the glassy silver effect. As soon as I saw them, I just thought Austin Powers. I thought the 60s. I thought mod. The mod fashion, the 60s in those days. I love them to death. And they're my first booties that I have bought of the season. And I adore them. So these were by Windsor, for those that are interested. I know that there are other brands that are also selling very, very similar replicas of this. And they have it in rose gold, and they also have it in gold. So you guys decide what you want. Pick if this is your kind of thing. But I think I'm just going to wear these all one color, white, black, whatever, and just have these booties. I love the heel. I love the fact that it was pointed and very streamlined, and it just encased the ankle and came right up. Gorgeous. I don't have anything like this. Very trendy very trendy and that's why i got them for cheap because i know next season they'll be out so don't bend over backwards trying to go to the high ends it wouldn't make sense okay save your money and buy a classic chanel flat bag that you can have for many seasons but stuff like this just buy it on the cheap okay Mwah. loved these all right these can go right in then ding <laughs> These are fishnet ties. Let me tell you something. Circa 2005, maybe 2004, I was working part-time in Tiffany's, yes, Tiffany & Kogo, Deo Drive, Beverly Hills. And I had these gorgeous fishnet tights. I was very popular. I was one of the sexy sales assistants and I used to wear these fishnet tights. You can imagine how I sit here and I see how fashion comes back again and again. And the fishnet Net tights are all over Instagram like crazy and you would think that they're the best thing since pockets on jeans and in a way perhaps that is the case but you know what this is not my first rodeo I've been here before <laughs> before Instagram before Facebook before social media but you know what we're happy with social media because it's bringing all of these trends to the forefront so I got these from Windsor and I know a lot of you guys will be thinking but for me this these are for the young ones, the 20 somethings or whatever. No, anybody can wear this. But as you can see, you can wear them exactly like that. You can wear them with a skirt suit and your heels and you'll be fabulous. I love them. I bought them for two reasons. One, to look fabulous in when I'm doing my photo shoots. And the second for Ula when I'm asking him for money for more makeup. <laughs> It's working. And so we go to the next favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha Denona. Love this palette. Before I open this palette, I want to let you know that I'm going to do a review, a swatch, a demo in a separate episode. Ula bought this for me. Remember I was talking about the fishnet tags, okay. Ula got me this and it's very heavy set. It's a hundred and forty pounds solid. Please use all of your coupons, use all of your discounts to get it. I tell you this, I tell you this, yeah? MAC single shadows. I was just talking about this with my friend. They're over 10 pounds each. And I have my 35% discount because a makeup artist, blah, blah, blah. Still with that, it comes to about 10 pounds for one single color from MAC. So when you add that up, it is kind of on that mark. The colors are rich, velvety, 
gorgeous. She's got satins, she's got the beautiful textured colors as well, as well as the mattes. I am not going to go through all of this. I'm going to do that in a separate episode, but I wanted you to see it. It's got the film, which I think is really great. I love that because you can flip it over and you can put that on top as well when you want to just keep them pressed, neat, tidy, fabulous. It's got the mirror here, you know, and then it's got the magnetic clothes. Beautiful palette. Like I said, I will go in detail in a separate episode. Yes? So that's the Natasha Denona. And this was a gift from Ula. And I love this. I do. Okay. The next palette that I adore so very much. Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty. And this is the Textured Shadow Palette Rose Gold Edition. Huda, love her. I've got her liquid lipsticks and I've also got some of her lashes and I think she's doing a fabulous, fabulous job. And this is the palette right here. I had a swatch party on my Instagram stories. You guys have to follow me on Snapchat. On my Instagram, I put all of that down below and I swatched this for you guys. Again, I'm going to do a separate episode where I'm going to swatch for you. I'm going to give you a demonstration and my humble opinion, also known as, as a review. Colors are gorgeous. The textures, OMG. The mattes, lovely. Satins and everything, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I think that she did a fantastic job with this palette and we'll go into detail in another episode. This is the package, it's just a slide. So you just slide it out or you can push it out that way and it comes out that way, guys. Yeah, I think it's wonderful. You know I'm very picky about palettes. So this was yummy. Now, Too Faced and Kat Von D also collaborated to make a beautiful palette. Again, I'm going to do a separate episode for you guys and I am going to do a demo and swatch and review. Now, it splits up, it's magnetized, you see? Ta-da! So, you have the Too Faced on this side and these are all the sweet, sweet colors and Too Faced who wrote a beautiful uh, letter to um, Kat Von D expressing how they felt about her, their relationship, how they met and how they came up with this collab. So that's what this looks like and this is the heart right here and this is the back of it right here. Kat Von D, I love her. She's so edgy. And when I lived in LA, I think that was when they was just doing their reality show. I just loved her. I loved her tattoo. I loved everything <coughs> about her and I do love her makeup. Bless you, darling. That's Ula sneezing. Bless you. And these were her colors. Now, without, without hesitation, why did I buy this palette? This red is the bomb.com. Red is my favorite color. I'm an Aries. I'm fire. And I love steam. I love the heat in any way, shape or form. I love it. And Kat Von D gave it to me in this palette. I will do a swatch review and demo of this. Yes, guys? So that was the duo. It also had the Greater Than Sex Mascara. Love this. As a matter of fact, I'll open this for you guys. Da, da, da. There you go. And that is the wand. Beautiful, big, but nice, fluffy, yummy lashes. I use this mascara a lot when I wear my falsies and I just put the mascara underneath and it just brings my lashes and the falsies together. Adore this. Better than six. No. <laughs> Ula. <laughs> and then you have the Kat Von D pin, the felt pin. Tattoo liner. I like it because you know that's her thing and that's what it looks like right there. Very, very fabulous. And as promised, because I don't want to give anything away, I just want to show you guys. I will do an episode on these palettes for you and they're going to be yummy. So I don't want to give anything away. I will say the red is uh, fire. Love it. L'Oreal Mercier loose setting powder in deep is everything. It is absolutely everything for women of color with deeper, deeper skin tones. My complexion, Naomi Campbell, Grace Jones, Iman, Lupita Nyong'o, this is for you. You will not go wrong with this. You'll be so very happy for the simple reason that the original where it didn't give you anything, this does. It gives you that punch of color right there underneath your eye and brightens you up. I am wearing it as we speak and I'm going to touch up as we speak. 
because I love it. Ah, no. This is it. I'm set and I'm done. Now, the only thing now you pray for God Almighty is that they don't discontinue it because brands are good for that. Oh, we discontinued it. Oh, but don't worry, we're bringing out something else. I didn't ask for something else. I still want the one that I've been using for the past 10 years. <laughs> Love it. Oh, everything. Long and Mercier loose setting powder deep. Snatch. I love this palette so very much. Without any hesitation, I am obsessed with the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. There is no other palette combo like this, even in Juvia's Place with the Masquerade, the Nubian 1, Nubian 2. Nothing. Huh? Is it almost finished? What is that? Is that, is, is that? is that the bottom of my... Just to see how much I'm using this. Oh, I have to get another one. I have to get another one. I'm almost gone, gone down with my Jamila. Guys, this palette is everything. The Chad, the black eyeshadow is the blackest black I have ever had in my life. And I am not exaggerating. The makeup look that I have right now is from this palette. I can feel you guys right now, just writing it down. Love your makeup for me. Do a tutorial, do a tutorial. And I know sometimes it might feel as if I am just going overboard. I'm not. I am a woman of color, of beautiful dark skin. And this brand has embraced every woman that is like me. And it has been a long time coming the beauty in you was always there girlfriend just bought a brand that enhanced it that's all that she did and my god look at the difference love this palette the combinations are unreal i have been using this literally every single day i have to reach out for this one because in every other palette there's a color that feels every single color top notch what can I tell you? Uh, use my discount code at checkout, F-U-M-I, to save money on all the eyeshadows, as a matter of fact. Not only this one, on everything Juvia's Place. Use my discount code, get a little something back. Beyond and beyond. Ula? Beyond. Yeah. What can I tell you? Even Ula understands. Okay, while we're on Juvia's, the other one now is the gel liner. The best. Soft, smooth, moist. Everything that you want in a gel liner. And then on top of that, it's black. I love the angled brush. It is stiff enough to give me that wing when I tell you. And at the same time, look... Okay, all right. See? Proof of the pudding is in the eating. Look at Kat Von D's tattoo liner. Look at Juvia's Place gel liner. And I, and I did not really mean to compare, honest, because I love Kat Von D's uh, liner as well. But just look at the gel liner. Just look. And this was one stroke. And it dries down to a cold, chadish mat. For women of color, where we're dark, you know, we're always on that search to pop. We want that blacker than black because we're already dark. So we need to really go down and deep. I don't know where Juvia's Place went to make this combination for the gel liner, but it is the bomb.com. And as I said, I use the angle brush and I really have that fabulous wing. What I like about the tassels, not, not, not the tassels, the bristles, is that I can wig it inside my lash line so that it gives me that depth of blackness. And I can even stick it onto my lashes if I don't want to do anything, you know, big, big, you know? And that is why I love it. I can cry, I can scream, I can have all the wind thrown into my face. This baby girl will not move talking about resilience discount code that's the only gift I can give you if you want to take the advice if you like don't take the advice but use the discount code to save some kind of money you will thank me later Okay, dokey. Now, I've been a little bit late in this game. I love Tarte Poo. I started using Tarte about a year and a half ago, and I should have gotten this Tarte Shape Concealer then. Here's the thing. They don't have it here in England. They don't have it in the United Kingdom. Tarte, you have to start selling in London. So anyway, I bought it. My sister sent it to me, and I have the Under Eye Concealer in Deep 
beautiful beautiful it is everything it is thick it's yummy it feels like a mousse the doffer is thick it applies on so 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 beautifully i put it down my nose i put it in my bridge and just look at it just look at how smooth and yummy that is. I love the Dofa so much because it spreads out beautifully on tops of my cheeks and the cheekbones and easy application. No mess, no fuss. Love the color. They've got a whole range of colors. Guys, check them out. And it is called, let me just look at it again to double check, Ship Tip. Yes, Tarte Ship Tip. Ship Tip by Tarte. <laughs> It's shape tape by Tarte and it's my new go-to when it comes to under eye concealer and I just set it with the L'Oreal Mercier setting loose powder in deep and I'm good to go. I am ready for that close-up honey. Yes, yes, yes and yes. Okay, so sugar pill, sugar pill, sugar pill, gorgeous palette and I fell in love with the pink that's the feminine in me and the red which is the warrior in me now the red is called kiss kiss and the pink is called s-w-a-k s-w-a-k and then you've got a nude which is called text me which is very modern it's very social media it's very now and then you have wink winky poo adorable i am going to swatch the red one for you which is called kiss kiss just look at this. Oh. Let's do swag. Can you see? That's the pink. So it's got that iridescent thing going on and it's got a little bit of blue in it. It's very fabulous. Of course, I'm going to do a tutorial on this look. And then let us do wink. Let's do wink here. I'll do wink right underneath here. And that's wink. So that's a lovely, beautiful color too. And then the last one, which is called Text Me, is a nice, beautiful, muted brown. Lovely neutral. And I'll just put that there. There you go. Yeah? So that, my loves, is the palette. And I adore it. You guys, if you love this kind of combo, get it. It is a collection because it also had a liquid lipstick that came with it. And this color is called, called Strange Love. It's nice, it's okay, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, I prefer the palette. All right, Kat Von D. Kat Von D, I'm feeling Kat Von D, or Kat Von D is feeling me, I don't know which one. So this is the Acamas Holographic Palette. Gorgeous. I got this in Barcelona when we went. <gasps> It's white, and when you open it, it's got a mirror right here, and then these are the colors. Looking at them, they all look very pale. They don't seem to give you anything looking at them, but when you swatch them, it's a completely different story. So I am going to start with green, and that is called Emerald also in brackets, and that's this one right here. So I'm going to swatch that for you guys, and it's right here. Now, do you see what I'm talking about? Is this not fire or is this not fire? This is this little innocent baby right here. You wouldn't think butter would melt in its mouth. And look at how much it gave me. This is fantastic for the tear duct, for the brow bone, even for the lip. It will give you that extra punch. We're going to go right across still on this line here and this is called blue sapphire oh I love my blue diamonds beautiful and I'm going to put that right there and there you go look at this just look Kat Von D Woo, girl Alrighty, then we're going to go with the ultraviolet, the amethyst, and that's this one right here. I'm going to give a little swatch of who. I'm going to put it by the side right there, and there you have it. Just look at that. And that's violet, and it's also called amethyst. And the bottom one, which I'm most excited about, is called pink. It's also called opal. So we're going to swatch that one and we're going to put that to its side and there you go. So you can completely understand why I got this. And I bought this in Barcelona. I don't know if they have this in London yet. You guys can check. You can also buy it uh, on Sephora, you know, online and they will absolutely have it. Yes, love this, love this, love this. I'm going to give you so many looks using this. I just think that it's very different from everything that is out there and it gives you that extra punch. It is. All righty. The very last is by NYX. 
Do you remember guys when NYX came out with Vivid Bright liners? I ran to the store and bought them all. I thought, amen, honey. NYX took it to the next, 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 next level and they came out with Vivid Bright creams. Where's my fan from Barcelona? They thought of me. I have a spirit animal in that company. I got six of these and I got red, pink, yellow, green, blue, and like a burgundy red. Gorgeous. And this one is called Light Show. And that's the yellow one. And it comes off like a gold. So I'm just going to put that up here. So that is it. This is the cream. Fan stick you can do whatever you want with these use them as a liner use them on your lid use them as a base underneath and this is cyber pop this is cyber so it's that kind of reddish orange color gorgeous that's what it looks like here then you have overdose and this is the pink just look at this isn't that everything ah oh, to die then this is the blue one it is called blueprint right here oh just look the next one is called bad blood just look at it it's a burgundy beautiful lovely red and you just put it right here and just look at this like i said guys be creative be creative you can use it as a liner you can use it on your lid you can use it on your lip you can use it as a blusher you can use it for anything and I think that's why they come in these little tubs so that you it, it's left to you to be creative yeah <laughs> and the last one I love so very much get that money and of course it has to be green so let's put my little finger in there and let us swatch it just just look let me just put a little bit more <laughs> get that money boo boo get that money love it so these were the six colors that i got and these are the vivid bright creams by nyx i don't think they have them in the uk my sister sent them to me from the us i love these colors so very much and that is the end of my season favorites guys i hope you truly enjoyed it and i will see you in the next episode of course leave all of your comments down in the description box below let me know what you think let me know what you would like to see i'm going to do so many tutorials with all of these products and i'll see you on the next season favorites until then stay fabulous love you bye <sighs>